Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much what you said. Like, there was something that I felt I needed to say. It was mine to say, and I, I just needed to say it. It it started with just this. Um, I, I I guess I was kind of intoxicated by some of the discoveries that I was making, the connections, the things that I was, the patterns I was recognizing, the things I was putting together. Um, the, like, I remember the, the, like, almost the moment where it all came together and I knew what I was going to be doing for the next 10 or 20 years. Like, right now, like, I don't know, I question whether I should even be writing anymore. And, and but but at the time, I, I I remember I was walking through my neighborhood. We had moved back to the U.S., started a family, and and you know I had this idea of the reason to move back to the U.S. was that it was going to be a better place to raise my children. Yeah, okay. So I remember the moment. Okay, I was <clears throat> I was you know, walking. We moved back to the to America thought it was a better place to raise a family because Taipei, where, where we had been living, was polluted, et cetera, et cetera. And I had this idea of like the childhood, kind of like I had, where the, the neighborhood, we moved to a neighborhood with, with lots of young families. There'd be kids outside playing, cops and robbers, hopscotch, jump rope, you know, like pickup games, you know, stickball, football, like a kingdom of childhood, you know. And there was nothing of the sort everybody pretty much kept to themselves. And I was like, what happened? What's going on here? Why this separation from each other? And it was obvious uh, on one level from the blue glow emanating from every window, the, the televisions, you know, but also the automobiles, like everyone's driving places, there's nowhere to walk to. Uh, also the air conditioners that trap people inside. So I'm like, wow, all these technologies are part of a process of separation that is the same process of separation that holds humans separate from nature, that holds one race separate from another race, that, that even holds matter separate from spirit, that that's, reduces the world to numbers. So I was like, it's all separation. The money system uh, expressing separation. Uh, the educational system, the medical system, everything is part of this narrative, this, this mythology that ultimately <clears throat> rests in the separate self in a world of other. And, and so like, so then I, I'm like, wow, I've got to, you know, uh, tell people this <laughs> and and, perv and and you know offer an alternative to this story uh, so you know that's when I wrote the ascent of humanity <clears throat> which took me four years and it was like this big meta historical narrative and I and I kind of had the idea that I got probably in school <clears throat> that that was like okay if I <clears throat> excuse me if I produce the correct answer, then the problem is solved. I'll turn my paper into teacher. I'll get an A and the world will change because it's just so obvious. You know, here's the right answer. So everybody's going to read this book and be like, oh, OK, yeah. Now and now we know what we have to do. And obviously nothing of the sort happened. Uh, instead, I, you know, went bankrupt. <laughs>